Here are the dark secrets behind how Jesus' closest followers met their tragic ends. The disciples and apostles of Jesus had anything but easy lives, and their deaths were far from peaceful. Ancient traditions recount the grim fates of these faithful men, painting a picture of suffering and sacrifice that is both fascinating and chilling. From crucifixion to stoning, flaying to beheading, each apostle's demise is more gruesome than the last. In this video, we'll delve into the harrowing accounts of how the twelve disciples and apostles of Jesus met their end. Let's also explore the fate of Apostle Matthias, who took the place of Judas Iscariot, and Paul, the final apostle mentioned in the Bible. Around 33 AD, Jesus Christ was crucified after claiming to be the Son of God. His followers believed he rose from the dead shortly after and started spreading his teachings, which led to the beginning of Christianity. However, this also made them targets for persecution, much like Jesus had faced. Sadly, some of them met the same fate as Jesus. Jesus' closest followers were called the Apostles, also known as the Twelve. They played important roles in spreading Christianity in the ancient world. Sadly, many of them died because of their efforts to share the gospel, often killed by the very people they were trying to help. In the Bible, there are 14 people considered apostles. This includes the original 12, Matthias, who replaced Judas Iscariot, and Paul, who preached to non-Jewish people. They were all real people who lived during the first century AD. The Bible only mentions the deaths of two apostles, James and Judas Iscariot. For the others, we rely on accounts from ancient Christian writers and church tradition. There are often different versions of how and where they died. While it's believed that only one apostle, John, died a natural death, some stories suggest there may have been others who weren't killed for their beliefs. Traditionally, each apostle is depicted in art holding or wearing a symbol associated with their death. For example, Bartholomew is often shown with a symbol related to his martyrdom, which can be pretty spooky. However, many people are curious about how the Twelve Apostles met their end, but the New Testament only provides details about the fate of two of them. Judas, who betrayed Jesus, later took his own life by hanging himself. James, the son of Zebedee, was executed by King Herod around 44 AD. The stories of the other apostles' deaths are not fully documented in the Bible, so we rely on reports and legends. However, these accounts aren't always reliable. Still, we can be sure that the apostles traveled far and wide to spread the message of Jesus' resurrection. According to an early legend, they cast lots to determine who would go where, ensuring that everyone could hear about Jesus. Their commitment to sharing their faith led to great suffering, and most of them faced violent deaths because of their bold witness. Despite the dangers, they remained steadfast in their belief in Christ and continued to preach his message until the end, the death of James, son of Zebedee. James, who was the son of Zebedee, stands out as the only apostle whose death story is mentioned in the New Testament. He was the first among Jesus' followers to lose his life for his faith. James's death is documented in the Bible, along with that of another apostle, Judas Iscariot. He was put to death by being struck with a sword. The account of his death is found in the book of Acts 12.1.2. It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. King Herod wanted to please the Jewish people who were against Christianity, so he started persecuting Christians. This pleased the Jews, Acts 12.3. Historians believe that James was killed in Jerusalem around 44 AD. In the 4th century, Eusebius of Caesarea quoted Clement of Alexandria regarding James's death. It appears that the guard who brought him into court was so moved when he saw him testify that he confessed that he too was a Christian. So they were both taken away together, and on the way he asked James to forgive him. James thought for a moment. Then he said, I wish you peace, and kissed him. So both were beheaded at the same time. Clement of Alexandria lived more than a hundred years after James's death, but
but he likely had access to accounts and records that have been lost over time. While there are many legends about famous Christians, this story could very well be true. James was the first apostle to experience the same fate as Jesus, as Jesus had spoken to James and his brother John, saying, You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. Mark 10, 39. The death of Apostle Bartholomew. Apostle Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel, remains one of Jesus' most mysterious disciples because few reliable sources exist about his life after Jesus' time on earth. Some traditions suggest that he was flayed alive after devoting himself to spreading the gospel in various areas. While there isn't a clear consensus, Bartholomew was likely martyred. The most common tradition claims that he was flayed alive and then beheaded. This is why many artworks depicting him show him holding or wearing his skin or feature him with flaying knives. But there are differing accounts of his death. According to Fox's Book of Martyrs, he faced cruelty in India, where he was at length cruelly beaten and then crucified by the impatient idolaters. The Golden Legend notes several accounts. There are diverse opinions of the manner of his passion. For the blessed Dorotheus saith that he was crucified, and saith also, Bartholomew preached to men of India, and delivered to them the gospel after Matthew in their proper tongue. He died in Alban, a city of great Armenia, and crucified the head downward. Saint Theodorus said that he was flayed, and it is read in many books that he was beheaded only. And this contrariety may be assailed in this manner, that some say that he was crucified and was taken down where he died, and for to have greater torment he was flayed and at the last beheaded. Another tale suggests he was beaten until he lost consciousness and then drowned in the ocean. Regardless of how Bartholomew met his end, it likely wasn't pleasant. Despite the discrepancies in the stories about his death, they all link it to his work in spreading the gospel. But as for the exact location of his ministry, that's a mystery they haven't quite solved yet. The death of Apostle Thomas. There's a lot of mystery surrounding the end of Apostle Thomas's life. According to various legends and ancient traditions, Thomas traveled as a missionary to places like Syria and India. It's said that he met his demise in southern India, where he was supposedly pierced with spears by followers of local religions. The death of Apostle Simon the Zealot. As for Apostle Simon, also known as Simon the Zealot, some Christian traditions tell us that he met his fate during the reign of Emperor Trajan when he was quite old. However, just like with the other apostles, there are different versions of his death. Some say he was crucified, while others believe he was burned alive. Then some claim he was gruesomely sawed in half. The death of Apostle Judas, also known as Thaddeus, Apart from James, Judas Iscariot is the only apostle whose death is mentioned in the Bible. But unlike James, Judas didn't die as a martyr. He took his own life shortly after betraying Jesus. Interestingly, according to the Bible, there are two different versions of how Judas died. In the Gospel of Matthew, it's written that Judas hanged himself right after returning the money to the chief priests. It is mentioned in Matthew 27, 5 that, So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. The chief priests then used the money to buy a field, which Matthew connects to prophecies from Zechariah and Jeremiah. It is said in Matthew 27, 6 10 that, The chief priests picked up the coins and said, It is against the law to put this into the treasury since it is blood money. So they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why it has been called the field of blood to this day. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the thirty pieces of silver, the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them to buy the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Interestingly, Acts, traditionally attributed to St. Luke, provides a different version, as Acts 1.18-19 says, With the payment he received for his wickedness, Judas bought a field. There he fell headlong, his body burst open, and all his intestines spilled out. Everyone in Jerusalem heard about this, so they called that field in their language a keldama, that is, field of blood. 
Luke's description of Judas's death doesn't necessarily conflict with Matthew's. It could be describing something that happened after Judas hanged himself. However, this raises the question of who bought the field, Judas or the chief priests. Additionally, they seem to have different explanations for why the field was named the field of blood. Matthew's account is the only one that mentions Judas feeling regret, and he directly links this regret to Judas's suicide. On the other hand, Luke's account almost suggests that Judas was destined for a tragic end as punishment for betraying Jesus. Regardless, both accounts agree that Judas died around the same time as Jesus, and it certainly wasn't from natural causes, the death of Apostle Andrew. Andrew's death story, much like his brother Peter's, is surrounded by uncertainty. Traditionally, it's said that Andrew was killed by crucifixion in Patras, Greece, around 60 AD. However, he felt unworthy to die the same way as Jesus, so he was tied, not nailed, to a cross in an X-shape. This is why an X-shaped cross is sometimes called St. Andrew's Cross. Before this, Andrew faced brutal torture, including severe beatings. Because of this tradition, the X-shaped cross is now linked to him. The details about Philip's death are also murky. Some accounts mix Apostle Philip with another Philip, a deacon in the early church in Jerusalem. It's unclear if he was crucified, stoned, or both. Some even say he died of natural causes. However, the most famous story claims he was crucified. Others say he was stoned, and some claim he endured both crucifixion and stoning. There's even a tradition that he was hanged, while some say he died of natural causes. However, the most well-known story about Philip's death tells us that he devoted himself to spreading the gospel in Asia Minor. Eventually, he faced persecution and was killed in Phrygia, a region in present-day Turkey, by both crucifixion and stoning. Unfortunately, the story about Andrew's death comes from a book called Acts of Andrew, which is not considered trustworthy. This book contains many supernatural tales, including one that claims Andrew preached for three days straight while hanging on the cross. The Acts of Andrew emerged many years, perhaps even centuries, after Andrew's death. According to Acts of Andrew, part of Andrew's three-day sermon, which he gave while he was dying, involved praising the cross as a symbol of Christ's beautiful redemption. Hail, O cross! inaugurated by the body of Christ and adorned with his limbs as though they were precious pearls. Before the Lord mounted you, you inspired an earthly fear. Now instead, endowed with heavenly love, you are accepted as a gift. Believers know of your great joy and the multitude of gifts you have prepared. I come to you, therefore, confident and joyful, so that you too may receive me exultant as a disciple of the one who was hung upon you. O blessed cross, clothed in the majesty and beauty of the Lord's limbs, take me, carry me far from men, and restore me to my teacher, so that, through you, the one who redeemed me by you, may receive me. Hail, O cross. Yes, hail indeed. However, the origin of this narrative isn't considered trustworthy. It comes from a book called Acts of Andrew, known for including supernatural stories, and emerged many years after Andrew's death. The early church was rightfully suspicious of this book. Yet church tradition, as mentioned in Fox's Book of Martyrs, tells a similar story about Andrew's death. He preached the gospel to many Asiatic nations, but on his arrival at Edessa, he was taken and crucified on a cross, the two ends of which were fixed transversely in the ground, hence the derivation of the term St. Andrew's Cross. The Death of Apostle Matthew Matthew, one of Jesus' apostles, used to work as a tax collector. There are various stories about how Matthew might have died, with one tale suggesting a natural death. However, the most widely accepted version is that he was killed in Ethiopia, likely by a sword. Clement of Alexandria quotes Heraclion, one of the earliest commentators on the New Testament, mentioning Matthew's natural death. But neither will this utterance be found to be spoken universally, for all the saved have confessed with the confession made by the voice and departed, of whom are Matthew, Philip, Thomas, Levi, and many others. Stromata 
Even though older accounts are often seen as more reliable, scholars reject Heraklion's version today. Most early records about Matthew's death claim he was martyred, but they don't agree on the details. Early church fathers mentioned he was burned, stoned, stabbed, or beheaded. In John Fox's well-known Book of Martyrs, which was published in the 16th century, the entry for Matthew states, The scene of his labors was Parthia and Ethiopia, in which latter country he suffered martyrdom, being slain with a halberd in the city of Nadaba, A.D. 60. The Death of Apostle John John, the last of Jesus' apostles, faced severe persecution and torture. According to ancient accounts, he miraculously survived being thrown into a cauldron of boiling oil. Later, he was exiled to the island of Patmos, where he received revelations recorded in the Book of Revelation. After Emperor Domitian's death, John was freed and lived to a very old age, dying of natural causes in Ephesus. On the other hand, Judas was the first of the twelve disciples to pass away. Unlike the others, he wasn't martyred for Jesus' name. Instead, he betrayed the Lord. After betraying Jesus and attempting to return the silver, Judas hanged himself. Matthew mentions his unsuccessful attempt to return the silver, while Luke, in the book of Acts, describes the gruesome death of the treacherous disciple, stating that he burst open with his intestines spilling out. It appears that Judas's body remained hanging until it eventually split in half. The Death of Apostle Matthias Matthias was selected to fill the place of Judas Iscariot among the Twelve Apostles. According to some traditions, he served in Ethiopia before traveling to the Caucasus area, where he was supposedly crucified. Other accounts propose that he was beheaded by Jews in Judea, while some claim he died peacefully at an old age in Jerusalem. The Death of Apostle James, Son of Alphaeus the story of how James, son of Alphaeus, died depends on whether you believe he's the same person as James the Just, who was the brother of Jesus. While James, son of Alphaeus, is only mentioned twice in the Bible and is not well known, James the Just was a significant leader in the early church. According to church tradition, they are the same person, but modern scholars disagree. According to tradition, James the Just was preaching at the top of a temple when he was pushed off, then beaten with a club used by fullers, people who cleaned and treated cloth, and finally stoned to death. In artwork, James, son of Alphaeus, is often depicted with a fuller's club, showing the assumption of the church that he was the same as James the Just. According to another tradition, James, son of Alphaeus, preached in Egypt and was crucified in Ostrakine. Hippolytus, a theologian from the 2nd and 3rd centuries, supposedly wrote about James's death in On the Twelve Apostles of Christ, stating, And James the son of Alphaeus, when preaching in Jerusalem, was stoned to death by the Jews and was buried there beside the temple. This aligns with the death attributed to James, the brother of Jesus. However, scholars doubt the reliability of On the Twelve Apostles of Christ. The text emerged in the 19th century, and many believe it to be pseudepigrapha, meaning it falsely claims to be authored by someone, the death of Apostle Paul. Though not part of the original Twelve Apostles, Paul is widely recognized as an apostle, especially to the Gentiles. Even though the Bible doesn't mention how he died, many accounts of his martyrdom are in early church writings. According to several early church fathers, including Clement of Rome, Paul was beheaded under Emperor Nero's rule, likely before 68 AD. The earliest known record of Paul's death comes from Clement of Rome's letter to the Corinthians, where he mentions both Paul and Peter being martyred. Additionally, an apocryphal text from the 2nd century called the Acts of Paul claims that Nero ordered Paul's beheading. Tertullian, writing in 200 AD, compared Paul's death to that of John the Baptist, who was also beheaded. Other early Christian writers add details, such as the location of Paul's death, Rome, and his burial place, the Ostian Way in Rome. So what's the influence of the Twelve Apostles today? The names of Jesus' apostles have become very common in the Western world. You probably know many people named John, Pete, Tom, Andy, Jim, Bart, or Phil. Did you know that at least four of the apostles were fishermen? 
This might be why the fish was one of the earliest and most important symbols of Christianity. The Greek word for fish, ichthus, formed an acronym that means Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. After the apostles died, few missionaries were as influential as Paul, but Christianity still spread rapidly, even though it was illegal until Emperor Constantine made it legal in the 4th century. So what do you think of the dark secrets of how Jesus' apostles met their end? Comment below and subscribe for more.